Welcome back everybody to another Arsenal career mode. I want to get into this right now and I, I just I, I want to get a quick overview of what this episode is going to be all about and uh, what we're facing right now and also I want to give you an update of where Alex Iwobi is. Uh, in terms of his player development we have been pushing him every single training session. Right now as you can see he is plus five. Plus five it's, it's, not, it's not bad but I want to give him more and you know what kind of sucks I think when I the career mode started I think he started as a well obviously started as a 70 so it's a you know it's kind of sucks but hopefully in the winter he gets an upgrade at least for ultimate team's sake for this episode we have our second game in the Champions League against Ludogorets or Liga Warsaw I, I mean they're both green there was no Ludogorets so uh, this is what's gonna be happening Ludogorets we got Burnley Swansea and Maybe we'll get around to playing Paris Saint-Germain. We'll see how the episode goes. So you guys ready to hop into that first game with Ludogorets? Let's go. Let's go into straight into the lineup. So you guys, uh, our main players, Ozil, Walcott, uh, I mean, even Sanchez a little bit, Carzola, a lot of them are tired uh, from the last week's game. They got tired real quick. So I want to put a fresh lineup, but I do want to give some guys a chance to play since it isn't going to be the most difficult game in the world, I hope. Uh, we got Jenkinson, we got Gabby, uh, Gibbs, Ospina in goal. His form is going down, though. So let's hopefully we can get that up this game. Maybe he'll make some saves. Uh, I don't know. No, it's, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, and we got also Giroud and Oxide chamberlain and we switched it around in the midfield. So um, as for the league, I'm going to change the formation to maybe playing one single attacking midfielder, making that Ozil and have him uh, give a free roll. Let's get into this game, though. I don't... Yeah. All right. So, guys, here is the second match. If you remember correctly from last episode, which has, I think has like a whole six views right now. Boom! Crazy amount of views. Uh, <laughs> we uh, barely snuck away with the victory. So hopefully this one can be a little more convincing. We are away and I, I just want to, I want to get a good start to this episode. So let's get into the kickoff. So they're kicking off. Uh, so we're going to see if we can put some immediate pressure and, and give, give them a hard time. Yeah, as if you guys saw that, I mean, holy shit balls! Ramsey gave it away in the silliest position you could ever imagine. He tried to pass it to Drew with a through ball, and he passed it to the left for some, well, some reason or another. So that's not a good start from Ramsey. I can tell you that much. That was danger. Chip through to Drew. Drew off the post. Off the post, Drew. Oh, great little play from everyone, but off the post, and I, I, I feel it. I feel it coming. Pressure's on. Little interception from Alexis Sanchez, through to Coquelin. Oh, but it's something, something or another. I can't even explain what that even was. Through to Jenkinson. Jenkinson run down the right hand side. Jenkinson, nice little move there. Pass it up to Coquelin. Coquelin put it back heel to Cazorla. Left foot. Oh my goodness. That was just a fantastic finish. Good play all around. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I deserve a little bit of water. That I'm parched from the goodness. Look at their fans, they're so sad. That was a great pass from Kokolan. Look at that, I, did, I wanted to do a simple little back heel, but he did this whole fancy back flicky super duperness, and Kozola with a nice tidy finish to the upper right corner with the left foot. Not stoppable, you cannot even think about stopping that. So, 1-0, 1-0 to the Arsenal. Let's, let's continue this, this is a good start. Oh, god damn. Holy shit balls. It did like a, I slid with one guy and then it transferred over to Kokolan immediately. Watch. I slid with Gibbs and for whatever reason Kokolan slid too and that was uh, how we got that shot away. Let's hopefully that doesn't happen again. Great tackle from Gibbs. Starting that counter attack. We got a good little uh, little group movement here. Chip it through to Oxide Chamberlain. Nice ball. Put across the goal. Oh, Gibbs pushing up. That was even actually meant to go to um, Giroud, but I mean, you know, I'll take it. Gibbs, the left back, coming in, scoring off a great cross from Oxlade Chamberlain. Boom. 2 0. Not even the, what, what is it, 40th minute, 30th minute? 32nd minute. Good stuff, guys. 2 0. This is already an improvement from last episode. To Ox, who has been playing a little bit on fire this, uh, this game. Ox back to Santi, I mean, <laughs> to Giroud. Giroud to Santi. Santi, run, run, Santi. Oh, I thought he's gonna use his left foot again, but we might be able to get a foot on it. Nope, and they put it out. I thought he's gonna use his left foot, put it up in that corner again, but no, not that time. 
Giroux to Ramsey, chip it over to Oxlade Chamberlain again. Oh, good shot. I meant to put it across goal, but good effort, good pass from Ramsey. And Ramsey, Ramsey, still Ramsey, and I don't know what's going on here. Gabriel, Giroud, Cazorla, up in the same corner again, 3-0. <sighs> That was a great little play. A little bit of weird hesitation there, but Giroud passed it nicely to Cazorla, right to his feet. One touch puts him in the right position, and it's a goal. Nicely done, team. Good job, guys. <sighs> Top four in this first half. 45 minutes gone, and three goals to nil. I, I like this. Halftime. Let's keep this team going, and if we can get maybe one more goal, let's um, switch up the team, give some people some more chances uh, that didn't have, that haven't got that many chances. We can't ignore the leakage that has kind of been happening in the defense. Yes, they have been a little weird, little mistakes, but can't ignore. So we gotta care, be careful on the counterattacks. Drew, hold it up for Ramsey. Ramsey, he's through. Ramsey, oh, and Ox with an easy finish, and it's in. That is 4-0. I. This is good. And he a little dance, a little dance to sum it all up. What I'm actually going to do right now is uh, I'm going to put on a few substitutions. I'm just going to put all three so we can get some guys who don't have as many minutes on the pitch. So let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can put on the field. I actually didn't even check my bench before starting this game. Ah, bad coach. No, no. This is what I'm going to do. I mean, it really doesn't make a lot of sense. I don't have the right players on the bench. But I'm going to actually put Perez on the right-hand side, keep Drew on the field, and push Oxley chamberlain into that center midfield position that he has done in the past, who actually did kind of well in. Uh, and then push Ramsey up a little bit higher. And all Kokolon is dying. <laughs> I mean, the best I can do is put Jaka on, and I'd rather let Jaka rest for the next game. So this is what I'm going to be doing for now, and we got about uh, 30 minutes left, or 20 minutes left. So let's see what we can do uh, with the remainder of this time. We'll keep, keep a clean sheet. <laughs> Still going, pass it off to Giroud. Giroud, can he put it on his left foot? Left foot, and that's five. That's five, a nasty, nasty chop from Giroud. And there, there he is, there's the Frenchman. I wish they gave him the beard. This, I don't know what this motion is right here, but I wish they gave him the beard for this, uh, this, this game because it looks so awesome. He looks a little bit womanly in 17. They should have given him the my nose itches. So 5-0, game over. I mean, it was over a little while ago, but 5-0. And it is nice to get this many numbers on the scoreboard. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's nice. So he's got, <laughs> look at this guy's hair. Look at this guy's hair. You see? Oh my God, he's got like a bald, biggest bald spot in the world. Oh God. Oh, pop it over to Giroud. Can we get like a little touch on it? Oh, the keeper's not even coming out, but they are crawling on Drew's back. Little flick back, nothing there though. And that's the game. So, 5-0. Uh, that was more goals scored in one game than we did the whole last episode. So, good for us. All right, guys, up next we got Burnley away. I did change the formation like I said I was going to do. Check it out. I got this pretty thing here. Just kind of tightening it up a little bit and putting Ozil up in that cam formation to make sure he is the playmaker and make sure that he is getting that space that he needs uh, to create. So... Um, I don't want to sim this because away matches and simming don't always work. So let's play this one and uh, maybe we'll be able to sim the next game. But let's sim this one. I mean, let's play this one and hopefully we'll come away with a win and more goals like we did in the last game. All right, guys, back at the Premier League. Burnley and Arsenal. Hashtag Burr Arse. Burr Arse. Burr Arse. And we got Martin Tyler, our boy, Alan Smith. And this, this is... What's this? Turf Moor? Turf Moor Road? Turf, I don't know. Stadium? Yeah. Pretty. Anyways, let's get to the kickoff. I don't really need to see any of this. I want to just crush through this match. And uh, we are the best defensive team. Did you guys know that? Because I didn't know that. Now I know. We have one goal against. That is ridiculous. Um, so I almost wonder if I need to up the difficulty or something. It is hard to score against legendary defense, but it is also apparently easy to defend against them. So let's see. We'll see uh, how this game goes, though. Um, kicking off with Alexi and Ozil. Yeah. All right, boys. Weird little giveaway right in the beginning, but he's got no one in the middle. It looks like that means they're going to be uh, playing defensive right off the get-go because he was up in that left wing almost by the corner flag and he didn't have anyone there with him. But they do have a corner, so uh, we got to defend on these set pieces. 
Nothing from that. Nothing. Nothing. Zip. Gorgeous. Gorgeous defending. Jaka, push your man off. What's going on here? Referee, let's get a little fouler, huh? Ooh, Chaka chopped him down. And nothing that check can't handle. They are breaking down my defense quite easily, though, so I, I shouldn't speak too soon like I was in the beginning of this game. They have another corner. I don't think I've even been past their fucking halfway line. I'm Alexis Sanchez. Alexis Sanchez. Oh, shit ball. Santi to Walcott. Oh, I'm not passing it in the middle. Walcott, Walcott, still Walcott? Oh, I thought that was a goal for sure. Oh my God, he just made a mess of that defense, but he couldn't finish it. it was his weak foot, so gotta give him a little break there, but. Walcott to Sanchez. Iwobi, oh, what a finish from Iwobi, who I think that was the first goal of his um, of this season, so that is great, great play, that is. Oh, oh, oh. Forgive me, that was not Sanchez who popped that through. I believe that was uh, Cazorla who gave a little chip. Yeah, yeah, Cazorla put a nice chip over to Iwobi with the first time finish on the volley. Could not ask for a better goal. Could not. Beautiful from Iwobi. 1 0 at Turf Moor. And I do believe, actually, that was the uh, end result of the game in real life. So hopefully, we can do a little improvement off of that. And that's halftime 1 0. Good play from everyone. Great goal from Iwobi. Let's see what we can get in the second half. All right, kicking it off, we have 1-0. I, I am I'm such a fan of that game. I mean, that goal was just so great. I want to score a million just like that. But, but, business time, second half. Stand off field, running with the left-hand side. Hector, all over his nutsack. He puts in a cross, no problem for Koscielny. Heads it away. And the quick counterattack with Ozil. Nope, not Ozil. Sanchez. Give it to Walcott, who has the burning speed of a horse on fire. Oh, he loses his... Oh. Corner. All right, Santi, put it in there for Walcott. All right, Jaka. No. Super tackle from Hector. Holy shit. Walcott with the movement. Walcott, put it in. Sanchez? Oh, corner. Alright, Ozil. I don't think the corner was supposed to go there because it went straight to the opposition. And as we thought, Burnley are going to make a change. Alan, what about Arsenal's next game? All right, Sanchez, back to Nacho, who's playing up way high. Find Cazorla in the middle. Oh, god damn, they look so much. Ozil. Ozil to Sanchez. Sanchez. Oh, right at the keeper. Oof, what a play. Oh, no. Kashoni's injured. Not one of theirs. Kashoni's injured. No, what a nightmare. Oh, my god, and he stretched it off. Hopefully, it's not another two or three month killer like uh, Mustafi has. The brilliant thing, though, about Arsenal this year is we finally have depth. For the first time in as long as I can remember, we have depth to the point of where we actually really have no emergencies. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's not a yellow card. Oh, you're kidding me, ref. You are kidding me. That is not a yellow card offense. Ah. So, guys, we're putting in Oxlade, Chamberlain, and Coquelin to kind of sum up the game, finish it off, and see if we can actually, maybe get one more on the counter with Ox and his fresh legs. That red card's gonna fucking kill me. Oh, Hector giving it away, but he's sti still giving it away. Come on, guys, what is this? I'm getting the jitters right now. Getting the jitters, I'm feeling it right now. Get it up to the top, please help us out. Ox, you better run your ass off when I throw this to you. Good touch, please good touch, good touch Ox. Good touch, away from his defender. Can we get it off? And that's a goal. Finish the game, that's done. It's exactly what I said was gonna happen and it happened. Beautiful. That's what I wanted. I wanted to hold the fort down with enough legs from Ox to maybe get a good counter and that's what happened. Done. 2-0, that's it. That's all she wrote. 
just four minutes left. Let's see if we can hang on, keep a clean sheet like we did last game. I'm liking this, guys. This is good stuff. It's a good episode. This is a good episode. That's game. 2-0. Should have been 3-0, actually, but I'm not complaining. We did get a red and a massive injury. So we're going to have to deal with that in the lineup. But for now, 2-0, that is good. And we'll deal with the consequences afterwards. So, guys. So... Looks like Lolo is out for four weeks. So that's uh, could have actually been way worse. Uh, Jaka out for suspension, and we got our guys going on international duty. Nothing that concerns me because I am not concerned. So we have the updated goals, top goals, top assists, and we have the updated injury list. Jaka, I mean, not Jaka, Mustafi looks like he's probably going to be back in about a month, which is good. So we're going to change that up and hopefully get him back just in time for him and Koscielny to rejoin the lineup at the same time, and we'll have our lineup back. All right, boys and girls, we do have a home game against Swansea City. Um, also, we are in third place and almost one point away from the top. Stoke City in first place, who would have thought that? I don't think that was uh, in the cards ever, so good for them. Chelsea and Man U are climbing, though. Let's, let's sim this match, and let's see if uh, hopefully we can get away three points. Good, we win three points. 2-1, close game, actually kind of like the game was in real life, but whew, look at Stoke City, 4-1 against Sunderland. Goodness gracious. It's rough, they are, they are putting on a beating. But let's see what Cazola's injury is, we did get three points. So Lauren Cashelny's already returned from injury, which is awesome. Seven weeks, Cazola out. God damn, another broken ankle. I guess this really is Arsenal, isn't it? We got Paris Saint-Germain. And we are gonna have to. They're at, we're, we're playing them at home, so I believe this is gonna be the last game of the episode. Three games, I think that's good enough. And uh, and we're gonna have to make some changes to the side, and hopefully we can come out with a win. All right, guys. So uh, this is the lineup that we're gonna be playing with. I got Ramsey on the bench. I want to give a more defensive lineup with Jaka and Coquelin in the midfield, and then we got keeping the same front three. And obviously the back four are gonna be relatively, pretty much exactly the same. So let's cruise on through and see how we can do against the typical French champions. So let's, let's, um, I, I really want to crush these guys. Beautiful night at the Emirates. Champions League. Hopefully we can do something big here. And here are the Arsenal faithful. One guy right down there in that dark red jacket looked like he was critiquing heavily. So. Uh, so the team is basically the same as it is in real life. Remember, we did not have the first transfer period open, so we had it closed. So all the teams are going to be looking the same. We got six points. We are tied for Paris Saint-Germain, just like it is in real life. Let's get on with the kickoff between Walcott and Mesut Ozil. Oh, they're making a run down the right hands with Di Maria and Cavani. I cannot let this cross get in. Oh, God, he's fast. Oh, he put the cross in. Hector against Pastore, great save from Czech. Oh, just over the bar. Jeez. Early warning signs right there. Mertesacker has no reason to be beat by Cavani. Awobi, dribbles, dribbles all day, dribbles, Awobi. Oh, and he got a last little touch on that. Oh, he's got a nice little, oh, you guys. Oh my God. Gabriel, that is embarrassing. That is embarrassing. I am counting down the seconds till I have Koscielny and Mustafi back in the lineup. That is embarrassing. To have a defender, look at this. Watch Gabriel leap over the ball. Look at this. One zero. All Gabriel's fault there. That was ridiculous. Let's go, guys. Sanchez, keep the ball long enough. Pass it off to Walcott. Get that speed. Good touch. Amazing first touch. Put on the ground for Sanchez. Oh, that's a good ball. That's, that is great. That's absolutely what we needed right there. And Wobi just snuck behind the whole defense. Ariere had no clue he was there. No clue. Great finish, great cross. Good stuff. 1-1 one, one just before the break of halftime. All right, that is halftime. So, I mean, not the best showing, but we did get that last grasp finish from Iwobi. Good stuff, I'm super happy about that. Lovely, lovely stuff. Let's see if, uh, god damn, he looks in real life. You see this? They really made a leap from 16 to 17 with the graphics. So plan for this, uh, this half, I wanna get this win, so I'm gonna push up a little more. 
and uh, and let's see what we can do. Failure into Ozil, Ozil back heel, great ball, great ball, and turn, beautiful, beautiful. Ooh. Awobi is gassed, so I'm actually gonna put on, I wish I had Welbeck on the bench actually, but I'm gonna put on an Ox, and I'm gonna actually give uh, Perez a go. I'm gonna give a Perez a go up top, and if I can't score in about 10 or so minutes, I'm gonna put Giroud on for Ozil, but for now, he, Ozil doesn't need to be making runs, he needs to be making passes. So this is what's going on here. Throw it on our guys and hopefully get a score. Perez, great ball over to Walcott. Walcott on another right hand side. Give it to Ozil in the middle. Absolutely brilliant finish. Another goal for Ozil, who is still leading the charts on our team. Yes, do the bear. I yeah, that's not something that you've ever done before, but I like it. That's a nice touch. Feeling fierce. Feeling super fierce, Ozil. Walcott with the double assist this game. He's just burning down that right hand side, killing, absolutely murdering Grizawa. And Ozil just absolutely taps it right in the one spot. The one spot that is untouchable. Good game. That's gotta be game. What is that, 90th minute? 83rd minute. We still have a little bit of time. There's the final whistle. We did win a long, hard fought match, but we won. Fans going crazy. 2 1, dying embers, almost like it did. Uh, when Ozil scored that goal against whoever the fuck they were, <laughs> Ludacrets in real life, that last minute goal, that was crazy, and he did it here again, so, whew, fair play to everyone, that was, that made me all sweaty, whew, that made me sweaty. All right, guys, so that is the end of the episode. We absolutely killed this episode. I mean, we did great. I think we conceded, like, one goal. That's it. So good good for us. Uh, next episode, if you want to take a look, we do have Middlesbrough, we do have Sunderland, and we do have FC Basel, Spurs, and then Man United. So we're almost caught up with the real calendar in real life, and hopefully we can actually go up past it so uh, we can actually do some fun little foreshadowing stuff. Maybe, we'll see. But um, for now, check, check out the updated scores, check out the, the, our scores and the assists, and, and hopefully we can get our injured players back next episode. So until then, you guys, thanks for watching, thanks for tuning in. Please subscribe if you want. Uh, I am going to be making videos a little bit more often now. I'm not sick or as sick, and I'm feeling a lot better. So I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you for watching. Have a good night.